Well, I'm going to start the answer to this, which is uh, about the timetable. In fact, you'll have to mm. um, backstory it. But the, there's a there's a funny anecdote, which is that Tanika gave me the script to read, and I was very very busy at the time with my company, Knee High, and I read it, and I just said, I you know I love it, but I I have not got the time. I can't do it, and we said what a shame and we'd worked together before so we were friends Tanika carried on I couldn't stop thinking about it at this I was waking up thinking about this play and in the end I was like exploding I went Tanika can I change my mind you know like I'm gonna have to make a couple of phone calls Emma but yeah <laughs> so that blew a bit of the uh, but I it got under my skin you know the, the strength and importance of of the play and um, but how long before how long had you been working on it before the RSC started to green light it and, and you approached me? Well, I actually had been writing it for about four years before, before it went to you. Um, was it commissioned or yes, did it was, you...? Yes, it was commissioned by Michael Boyd and I think I actually talked to Michael Boyd and I said, I want to write a play about Asians running around 19th century Britain. And he said, go on then. And I thought, wow, that's quite... Ex so, yes, it took four years to write. Once it was commissioned and, 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 and greenlit, then, um, um, yes, we approached you. You said no. And <laughs> then we sat around thinking, what should we do? Who should we approach? And then, fa thankfully, you came back and went, actually, I've changed my I've mind. I've completely changed my mind. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, um, and then, I can't remember the exact time, but I think then we go into production. We did quite a lot of work with Pippa Hall, didn't we, yeah. on the script. We did a fantastic trip to the Isle of Wight to look around um, Queen Osborne. Victoria's yeah. Osborne House, which is so full of colour and exoticism. I mean, obviously, she was intoxicated by her travels. And it makes you see her more three-dimensionally. You know, I'm, I'm no royalist. But you really got a sense of her and Albert's embracing their global position. Uh, the, the vivid colours in Osborne House and then the portraits of people from around the world. You know, they were, they were intoxicated. And it, it was really fascinating, changed my opinion completely. I think I'd really thought of Queen Victoria being all in black, you know, being sad. And this, I saw a very sort of dynamic global woman with all sorts of other things going on. Mm. And then we started casting. I think it took about 18 months, yes, yeah. is my guess, from saying yes to it being um, programmed. In terms of uh, changes to the script, I would say scripts never stay the same um, from one second to the next until press night. <laughs> so I think we were, we, were, we were changing the script all the time, weren't we? Mm. E even in rehearsals. Um, I remember very clearly on, after the second week of rehearsals, we realised that actually the first scene with Queen Victoria didn't happen until something like six scenes in. And we were like, how did that happen? So we, we cut it in half, literally, and put one bit here and one bit there. And suddenly it all came, out, it mm. came to life, didn't it? it was... The one that I remember, because as Tanika says, it's a sort of constantly living thing, a script, although the script was very well written, so there was no... We, we weren't having to mess with it, but of course what happens is it comes to life with the actors. And the one I remember is when Rani was being dressed up in Western clothes and you'd written it very much that she was being puppeted, really. Yes. That there were people putting clothes on her. But by the time the brilliant actor Anika Rose was had this character, she was no puppet. And, yeah, and, and when we rehearsed it, I remember saying to Tanika, she's going to have to speak. She can't, you know, this yeah, actor yeah, was yeah. going, I'm, I'm going to yeah. have to have some expression. So that's the sort of thing that an actor brings to, to a scene. The scene isn't changed, but the, the actor says, I, you know, I'm going to have to... Can I say something? Can I say something about my <laughs> new outfit? You know, so that's what I remember. But the play was in an amazingly good shape by the time it went into rehearsals. Um, so working on the Empress was quite unusual for me because I've come from a devising background and almost all my work was coming from the room and probably not dominated by words, more dominated with music and dance. So it was quite a challenge. A challenge is the wrong word because that makes it sound unpleasant. It was a new adventure to work um, with a play like this. But it was brilliant because Tanika was there. We'd worked together on a musical called Var Var Girls. So we knew we really liked each other and got each other. So there was none of that to do. And in fact, 
it's one of the biggest joys in my life is working with people again because you know there's the getting to know you process and then there's the really enjoying somebody so Tanika was there all the way through and I suppose I'd, it was a really nice experiment to how to keep some of the techniques I use to enable um, actors but whilst already know what the words are and of course it worked beautifully you know the I could do some of the way that I create characters but they they knew where they were going so it fitted beautifully Tanika was in the room almost every day but that's brilliant you know it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't feel like somebody's landed something on you and said I'll come and mark your homework is it was very much a team mm. thing I just laughed then because Tanika said you know you want to see if your jokes land and of course it's not the first thing you think about with this play but you know she's a very funny writer and a very funny person so and, and I'm I like a very witty room and I like funny actors so that's my my feeling is it was quite playful but you know in this instance the word the, the words are there as a map and I I loved it absolutely loved it